Hello, Perot, <laughs> Inspector Perot. Buddy, do you got any rush rooms? What's the matter? See, I'm tired. Tired of going normal speed, I mean. I first tried rush rooms when I was five. And come to think of it, I ate them every day without fail. Back in the day, I'd win every race I ran. Thanks to those things, cut to 55 la years later. Now I can barely drag these bones off the ground without those rush rooms. No matter how hard I, no matter how many I eat to fortify myself, I'm just too old to get up the cliffs to pick rush rooms ah. where they grow. That is why I'm letting all able-bodied sorts know that I'm in the market for them. I'll give a diamond for 55 rush rooms. That's worth the eff effort, right? If you want to do business, come talk to me. I'm always here. Rush room rush. Well, I don't have that many rush rooms, but it's good to keep in mind that I can trade... Come on. It's good to keep in mind that I can trade them in for diamonds. That's a steady flow of income that I can always find, always get. Picongo! Wake up. Hey, we meet again. Are you out traveling as well? I forgot my voice for him. I'm happy, uh, or I'm traveled all over the world, and I'm ha so I'm happy to tell you about new places if you want. Do you have a picture to show me? That let's see it already. Here. Oh, I. Wait a minute. Didn't we uncover this? I, I've seen this. It's an oasis just outside Gerudo Town. If you head southwest from here, you can't miss it. It's a great place, just brimming with an exotic atmosphere. It's certainly worth visiting at least once in your life. And then we have Cass, who I think just tells us the same thing he tells us all the time. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. How many episodes was it that we got? Heart? Well, it's happening again. This guy's name is... Um... Uh, Bart. Yes, he's completely different. Also, hey guys and gals, I'm Pal, and welcome back to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. When we last left off, we did not have Bart. But now we have Bart. And he, he may not be better than Aggro, but it doesn't matter, because we're, we're not keeping Bart. Bart is for that quest guy who wanted a horse. And I don't... I hope that he doesn't give us a reward based on the type of horse we bring him, because this horse is about as bad as you can get but we're bringing him horse hopefully we'll get money get paid and hopefully we can help him out in the process until he can get a better one must have a good horse is this good enough oh hey that horse it's just like my old partner talk about a fine horse think i could have this horse i'll pay you 300 rupees for it what do you say hey hey really you know this is for keeps right yep take it i don't care <laughs> hey yeah thanks so much here's the 300 rupees i promised you as fair payment for this horse Hey, you're welcome. Uh, I'm making this horse I bought from you my new partner, my new best buddy and traveling attendant. So off we go, me and my partner. May we have all the uh, may we have good travels. Enjoy Bart. Let's see, is Agro in range here to come to me? No, she isn't. Can I steal your horse? I guess not. Last episode, we wow, we did a lot of actually every single shrine of the three we got. They were all blessings. This one, we made a we, uh, kind of a snowman. We made giant snowballs and collected the blessing of Suma uh, Sama. With this one, we navigated the, what is it called? The South Lome Labyrinth and got the blessing of Dilamog. And in the East Gruta Ruins, we, uh, we played, we bowled, golfed, I guess. Putting a bunch of balls in a bunch of of nooks and got Korsh Ohu's blessing, and we, one of those blessings was pretty good. It was the second set, second part of the Barbarian gear, which in between episodes I took the liberty of upgrading two stars, so we can now switch to that whenever we need a nice attack buff. So we're back in the what is it called? The Car Car Bazaar. Last time we were here, we looked a lot different. We looked much different. And now, we fit in a little bit better. Actually, what do you mean, nothing unusual? Savalta! Well, the Divine Beasts probably won't head in this direction, but we should be on alert just in case. 
If you're thinking about... Yeah, okay, we've said this before. So, I was kind of... Kind of dined and dashed last time I was here. I talked to maybe two people. Three if you count her. Oh yeah, there's a memory. And then I just left. So, this time... I'm gonna be a bit more thorough before we head over to the... Uh, the Gerudo Desert City. So at this point, was Zelda developing feelings for Link? Because so far, that's not what we, that's not the vibe we've picked up. If anything, she dislikes and is jealous of Link's abilities, that he is able to harness the power, oh hello Beetle, he's able to harness the power of the Master Sword while she's still struggling to harness her own powers, but it almost seems like she's beginning to appreciate him, realizing that uh, let's not buy this. Realizing that his ability is not is not something she should be jealous of. They're apples and oranges, and it's not like he's waving it in her face. If anything, he's... I mean, he is a silent protagonist, but he has an infinite amount of patience for her, so she's starting to realize that it isn't... It's not really a grab for power. It's it's something else. I'm, wa I'm watching the Sandstorm. Can you join me? Sandstorm. Sandstorms are pretty common out in the desert. If you get caught in one, you'll get lost for sure. But I hear that sandstorm over there will li die down in a few hours each day for a few hours each day, clearing a path. I want to visit that huge tower, but the sandstorm is in the way, so I'll just sit here and wait for it to die down. Well, that's a nice hint. Thank you. In fact, what is? So we're facing that way. The Great Cliffs is where that leads. So I need to pay attention to that. You! What am I going to do? I've talked to this guy before. Oh yeah, he won an elixir, and I made that. Oh. Totally for him. Yes, I I had him in mind when I made that. Uh, off screen, uh, many episodes ago. Thank you, now I can get across the desert while it's still light out. Here, let me give you something in return. Awesome, ah. 50 rupees. By the way, in Gerudo, thank you is Sarkso. Sarkso! Well, we helped them out, even if we didn't mean to. Hello, dog. Let's see, hydromelons, palm fruit, and mighty bananas. Not really interested in any of those. I've already made food. We've been in here before. Haven't bought anything. Although, to be fair, there isn't really anything to buy. They're just one-ofs. And, and there's this place. Is this the inn? Oh. I didn't mean to talk to you. That divine beast, it feels like it's getting a bit closer every day. I wonder how long it will be before I can head back to Grudo Town. Grudo Town? There's a town to the southwest, made almost entirely of Grudo. It's the largest settlement of the, in these parts. It's got a lively market and, can, and a canteen. That town's active from morning to night. But, well, they have a rule that'll affect you. Guys aren't allowed in. No vo may enter, they say. Okay, well, I've already asked about the divine beast. Don't really need to know. Ooh. But it has lightning. That's that's actually good to know. Uh, you, girl, we've lost a, a lot of business ever since that divine beast started stomping out in the desert. The sound the sound of the divine beast walking might be loud, but the beds are still comfy. Do you want to stay? Regular bed is that soft is that. You know what? I'll try the soft. One soft bed coming up. We offer a mandatory wake up shout. When would you like it? Hmm. You know, it'd probably be best if we traveled in the desert. 
during the night, because then I can equip the Sheikah gear and run very quickly through that. Sav Saba! Wasn't that bed the comfiest? It's cold outside, so travel safe. Oh. It's cold outside, is it? That might... That might present a concern. Let's see, have we visited everything? We, we've seen the general store, we've seen that... Or two general stores. And we've seen that general store, so I think we're done? I mean, I can climb this, just to make sure there's probably a Korok seed on top of this boulder. But otherwise... Quark seed or a treasure, either one I would be content with. What is it? Which is it? Neither. It's actually neither. Okay, it's just a lookout, I guess. I kind of would expect the memory to be up here, but I guess not. Okay, well, let's let's move on. We're heading... I think that's the Goron Town. Yeah, that's the Goron Town. Unfortunately, we don't have... We don't actually have a uh, method to ride a horse across this. We're also very cold. I guess the best way to do this is cook some spicy wild greens, chow them down, and then run. I think we're, we're warm enough, and now we can just run straight there. Again, just as a reminder, my, my Sheikah gear when fully upgraded, or I guess up two stars, since I'm not sure if there is a third upgrade out there, uh, gives me night speed up, which is an insane buff. It, it really is. I mean, I'm slowed down on the sand, and I think I'm still running faster than if I wasn't. So, in this desert, it looks like, it looks like the only dangers to speak of are, are the normal night... Ooh, hello. I actually need this to upgrade... Yeah, I actually need this up this vault fruit to upgrade my some of my gear, so I'll gladly take that and talk to you. Hmm. It looks like your everyday you look like your everyday traveler, but how can I be sure? Don't tell anyone, but I'm no merchant. I'm a Grudo Town soldier in disguise. Ever heard of the Yiga clan? They're a group of thieving bandits who have caused all sorts of trouble back in town. I got a tip that some of them go incognito as travelers to ambush the unwary. That's why I'm dressed as a simple merchant. My mission is to blend in and stay on guard in case they strike. They were bold enough to strike at Grudo Town, so I wouldn't be shocked if they struck at Travelers too. Whoa! Wait, what? Oh, it's just a moon. Oh, I thought I thought that was like a cue that Yiga Clan were right next to us, but no, it's it was just a coincidence. Will you fight things? Looks like she will. Okay. Looks like there's a blood moon here too, which is not the best timing. Considering I'm I'm heading through no man's land with desert dudes everywhere. Here, let me grab. Please don't hit me. Ah, uh, lift it up. I just need to grab this and go run. <laughs> yeah, these guys are not happy about my presence. Silver rupee. And there's another chest down there. It seems. Yeah, don't don't kill me, please. I'm just trying to get your treasure and then I'll leave. Ten arrows. You know, that makes me wonder. This is an encampment of Lavzalfos, right? What on earth? You just flew. That was... Okay. Uh, are, do these guys care about treasure? Is there an economy for these guys? Do they rob people, or do they just kill them? Because in other games, they just try to kill people, but... Do they have a method? Also, this is beautiful. This desert in a blood moon? It's gorgeous. And it always makes me sad that Blood Moons don't last longer. Already placed a beacon on that. Uh, you know what? I'm going to take a detour. Just a little detour. Wondering what this thing is. I saw it on the map, and it looked really cool. Here, use Magnesis to tell where enemies are. Wait, can I... I can stasis plants? <laughs> Why? What? The game doesn't need to be that open-ended, Nintendo. That's that's too open-ended when you can stasis food. Okay. My personal challenge to myself is to not get seen at all. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, oh, oh. Wait for it. Da da. Da 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 da. da. No one's seen me yet. 
fuck? Da 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 da. I am the James Bond of Zelda. Northern Ice House. What? Is there anyone here? Oh no, it's not an enemy. Oh. Well, this is weird. It's an ice how they thought of that. What's down here? Ice? A gr oh, they're a Gerudo. Uh, hopefully those little Zalphos weren't yours. Who are you? My work's done for today. If you need something, come back tomorrow. Ice ma man I did it. What's in here? A bow, a golden bow, which is terrible. Uh, it's actually garbage. But you know what? It's probably needed for a quest, and so... Golden bow it is. Can I melt this? No. Huh. I can't believe they thought of an ice house. That's crazy. Nothing in the water. Huh. The more you know. So there was no reason to do that. Oh, he's still alive. Uh, well, now he's not. There. So there was no reason to do that. There was no reason to go through that entire ordeal. It was all for a golden bow, which I didn't, don't even care about. But, I mean, I did it. I, I was strategic. Okay, let's get this shrine, and then we can head into the Gerudo town. The second, I guess this is the second time, canonically... Actually, no, scratch that. I guess the other games are canonical, just different timelines. So, we're finally here. Yeah, I was gonna say there's only, like, one canonical Gerudo town, but they seem to have more towns than than the Sheikah do, so... Let's go inside the shrine and then find out what that guy's deal is. The whole picture. More electricity, eh? Hmm. So, it looks like we're supposed to complete a series of circuits. We have blocks, which I presume, when placed, continue these circuits, maybe? Here. Yes, they do. And they don't shock me, right? I presume touching this shock, yeah, that, that, that hurts. But otherwise, I can touch the things on the floor and be fine. So we're using... We're using Magnesis to complete circuits means this is very much like a Professor Layton puzzle. If I've ever seen a Professor Layton puzzle, this would be it. Okay, so let's do that. And then put it there. Probably Yeah, okay, that does get us a bit further than than it did before. Okay, so we have that done. Do we get more barrels, or is that all we're working with? That is not all we're working with, right? They give us one more barrel? Okay, they give us one in there. So that's what we should be working towards. We can make that connection, and then... Yeah, so let's... Let's grab this block. Throw it over here. And place it there. Will that open? No. Okay. So, what about... Let's see. What about this? Grab this. First of all, place it there. And then I presume, actually, we can grab the block and then at least complete one circuit and see what happens. Ultimately, we are trying to get the second block. So, that is our goal. Do that. What does that open? Just a chest? Oh, it gives us a barrel. Okay, that's... That's good news. That's good news. We have a barrel. And it looks like for this connection... We can complete it. Okay. So we grab this. Throw one. Right... No, no, no. Right there. We grab this. Put it on this shorter connection. I feel like I'm playing Snap It. Did anyone have that as a child? There's the, the, basically build it yourself. What just? I think I, I guess it's still connected. 
There was a build-it-yourself circuit kit that used snaps, like clothing snaps, to link the circuits together. What? Link, open it. That was weird. And it was a lot of fun. It was great for learning how circuits worked, and you could also build, like, your own little inventions. It was, it was just a blast, but I'm wondering if anyone had that. And this it's exactly what this reminds me of. It's like the the same exact concept, except I guess you're not trying to close a circuit here, so it's not the best way to learn, but it's not bad. Okay, so we're trying to get that giant that giant block. So short connection and short connection. And I guess we'll take the block. Wait a minute. Uh, are we missing? I think we're missing a barrel. Or we're missing more than a barrel. We're missing... Oh, chest. Oh, the chest is metal. Oh, I'm dumb. Get the chest. And we can use that. Man, how many times... How many times in this series have we used a chest to complete a puzzle? It's crazy how many times they are like, oh yeah, that's an item. That's that's not just there for show. That's something you can use, very actively use. Okay, so now we need one block. Be careful where I stand here. We need one block to complete this. And that does... Oh, we just need two big blocks. Okay, that's, that's easy. That's... That's child's play. Make sure there's nothing in here. Does not appear to be. Wait. Yeah, nothing nothing here. And then we can grab this big box, throw it in on the other side, and maybe finish this or get to the next stage of this this trial. Either one. Oh, we're done. That was that was great. I had I had a blast. It was nostalgic because of the snap kit. It was it was great. Oh, wait, whoa, wait. Wait a minute. Why is this here? Why? Nintendo? Nintendo, you're really making me question why I would get this. It's like there's a reason. Like there's a chest. But I guess I'll let you pass on this round since I already got one chest. And now we can find out what that guy's deal is. I presume that because he's a guy, he's trying to get inside. Oh, so folks, just now, do you have business with me? Are you, are you spying, Benja, that I somehow know your name? What? N no, I'm not a spy. I'm a merchant. I may not look like it, but I'm actually the leader of a caravan. I've traveled all the way here, but this town doesn't allow men to go in, so that's why I had to, um... You are spying. It's research. Research. And think what you want, but I finally found some key on, on as to how to sneak into Gerudo Town. What is oh. it? <laughs> well, allow me to share with you my heroic tale. I've been close to a week, it's been close to a week now. The guards have kicked me out more times than I can count. I almost gave up hope. However, I have learned that only a man, that only recently, I, I learned only recently of a man that slipped into this well-guarded town. I heard that man is frequently traveling between Karakar Bazaar and Gerudo Town. I've been waiting here trying to spot him as he travels. Forbidden City and Tree. Let's find this out ourselves, because we have, you know, we look the part. We, in fact, yeah, we really look the part. Uh, in fact, there's a lot of facts happening here. We have all of the gear. All of the gear that looks like we belong. So let's walk in. Tra la 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 la. Oh. oh. Huh? Freeze. Where do you think you're going? Hmm. Not into town, that's for sure. No vote is allowed. Off with you. And with that, we're kicked out. Oh, I don't know why I'm singing this song. You. What on earth are those... Uh... Walruses? Savak! Oh, wow. Don't tell me you've crossed the Gerudo Desert on foot. Yeah, that that's me. Must have been hard to walk through the desert, especially having your sink, feet sink into the sand. It's common sense to travel the desert with sand seals around here. My name is Feli. I run a shop in Gerudo Town where I rent out sand seals. Most people can't take the time to ride their own sand seals, so I rent out the ones I've trained. If you need to know anything about them, I'll be your first stop. 
Do you have any questions about sand seals? Come talk to me. I'm quite skilled at training them. What are they? Uh, They're animals native to Gerudo Desert. Uh, it's quite dangerous to cross the desert on foot, but if you have the sand seal, you'll breeze right along. Obviously, sand seals are incredibly important to the Gerudo people. Just giving a shot is best, but if there's anything else you don't get, let me know. How do I catch one? <laughs> sand seals are especially sensitive to the sounds around them. The trick is to approach very, very slowly. It's a pain in the neck. Uh, it's a pain in the neck, though. So most Gerudo just end up renting one instead. Wow, they're telling me how to crouch. <laughs> you know, the best way for you to learn is yeah. How do I ride one? Uh. Steering a sand seal is really easy. They go in whatever direction you want, but you'll need a shield to sand surf. So don't forget about that. Wait a minute. Are they? Wait a minute. Are is it like a? Oh, it is. You have to grab on. You don't get. To... Wait. What do you say about Vo? What do you say about me? Did you say something about my family? Yeah. You're a Vo. My shop is inside the town wall, so you won't be able to get in. Man. Stupid racism. Okay. So you. Can we? Wait, that cake won't bake. So if we stealth it up. Will that work in our black clothes that really attract the heat? Oh, come, come on. Really? Really slowly, they say. Okay, well, I can do that. Ew, I did it. Woo! Look at me. I can surf. This is awesome. Okay, so our goal, I guess, is to find the man. Is it you? Are you? Are you who I'm looking for? And yes, I realize I'm actively taking damage. Uh, let me, let me fix that. I've, I've cooked up some stuff. There we go. Are you it? Another boiling day. I can't really tell if you're the guy who enters the place. Uh, I should probably just jump off, but I'm having too much fun. Woo! Look at me. I'm so fast. Okay. I'm actually going to get off. You, are you a guy? Not a guy. Okay. Uh, I can talk to you, I guess. Savak! Ever since Naburus did something, anyone who knows about the desert like my people takes pain to avoid the thing. Ooh. You should get safety somewhere like Karkar Bazaar before Naburus stri lightning strikes you down. Okay, so we're looking for a spe specific time of day, Forbidden City, where a guy enters the city. And I presume I can't climb the walls. That would seem like cheating. Let me talk to this guy one more time. I hear a man who infiltrated it. Yes, I'm waiting for him. I plan on asking him how he does it. And is this place just underground, or is climbing it not an option? Wait, what? How did- you can't even see me! A has been detective! Capture him at once! Oh, come on. I'm stealthy! No one can see me? No one can just hear me? Man. So, we have to do this the way they intend, unfortunately. Vo are forbidden from entering this town. This is Gerudo law. Do you understand? Never come back. <sighs> you know, I could fight you. I could kill you all. Okay, I need to find out, though, regardless, how I should get in. You. You're a guy. Aww. Our boss. I get the feeling that he isn't coming back from Gerudo anytime soon. I hope he's okay. Do you sneak in? Man? What? There's a man who got in Gerudo Town? And the boss says he comes here uh, he, he comes here to Karakar Bazaar. I guess it must be true if the boss says so, but I've never seen anyone around here who strikes me as a super sneaky guy. There was that pretty Hylian gal at the general store. It's unusual to see a Hylian girl dressed up like a Gerudo. Her Gerudo clothes. I wonder where she got them. Maybe if I wore those clothes. Ha, <laughs> nah. I'm so out of my element with all the sneaky stuff. Gerudo girl, hey? Have I seen her before? Or you're not her. Can I go in here? Gerudo girl, you're not her. You're not her because you're like eight feet tall. You're not her. The problem is there are like three general stores around here, so it could be any one of them. Are you short? Can't really tell. Could you stand up? What's the matter? You got this look on your face that almost screams, I've got to talk to you right now. Any suspicious vendors? A suspicious merchant, huh? From my point of view, pretty much any merchant that isn't Gerudo looks suspicious, you realize. 
still, yeah, I, I think can think of someone. That one Vi merchant in full Gerudo garb, she frequents the general store a lot. There must be more to her story, but what do I know? Plus, I'm not going to poke my nose in another person's business, even though it would be so easy considering how long your nose... I mean, bye! <laughs> You want to know if I've seen a suspicious-looking male merchant? Mm. Suspicious, huh? Hmm. Mm. I, I don't know. It's hard to say. I spend all my time here. I don't know. I, I don't know how to. I'd tell if someone was a merchant. Anyway, there, there are Hylian merchants here. Uh, why don't you go ask one of them? Okay. Mm. Well, thank you. Uh. Yes, that's what I'm trying to fix. Of course, you would not like that if I told you. So you didn't hear anything. Ooh. You, ma'am, I think, are who I've been looking for. She even has an evil snicker. It's pretty close, actually. I, I kind of like the purple. Oh my, what a lovely young lad you are. Do you need something for me? Are you Gerudo or Hylian? Your height really doesn't tell me anything. What's that? You heard about a man who snuck into Gerudo Town? Oh, I don't know anything about him. Sorry I couldn't be more help. Hehe, <laughs> you're making my cheeks warm looking at me like that. Wait a minute. <gasps> yeah, that's what I thought. Oh my. You sure say the funniest things, young man. Anyway, if you don't need anything, you should be off then. You, 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 you. You are your guy. Yep. Um, hmm. I'm sure you'd agree that these clothes only help my looks, right? Now that I think about it, this style would look fetching on you. I have to charge you, of course, but I bet people would see you completely differently if you wore them. What do you think? What do you, do you want to buy them for, say, 600 rupees? I'll take them. Oh. It's a deal, then. I'll take your rupees now. Mm. <laughs> I have the perfect outfit for you. Go ahead and change into it right now. Don't worry, I'll look away. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> these these camera angles really selling it more camera angles. Why is this thing like, changing colors? E you look adorable Oh, uh, <laughs> just as I thought you you make for quite a good-looking gal. That's a traditional Gerudo outfit It's such a striking look around here. I doubt any anyone would suspect that you're a man on top of that It breathes so well that it sure to help you out with the desert heat at least a little oh. I'm so glad I was able to help you out if you're free to grab something to eat sometime, uh, to keep me in mind. Why did... what? Make sure you watch out for the wind. What was that reaction from Link? Like, he didn't have a mouth or something. If you want more ladies' clothing, come back anytime. That's really sketchy, but you know what? It's Zelda, we just helped... We did just help a human man get with a, uh, a, a Zora woman who was also like six years old. So Zelda's creepy and sometimes very sketchy. All right, that, I think I'm going to end it early because once we get, why am I taking damage? Oh, I'm that, okay. I think once we get into Zora or uh, the Gerudo town, things are going to get pretty, pretty involved. So I think it'd be best if I just ended it here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this episode in, in any capacity, please click like. If you didn't, then drop a comment telling me how I could make the next episode so that you would like it. Next time, also this is the end of the batch, so if there's something you want to see me do as I go into Gerudo Town, please tell me. Although, I guess this next episode will be recorded before this one comes out, but tell me anyway. I'll, I'll eventually cover it. Alright, in between episodes, I think I'm going to die this close, so it's a bit more convincing that I am definitely a Vo, and I'll see you guys next time, where we will infiltrate Gerudo Fortress as the Vo that we are. See you guys then! Ip eek! That y lovely young lady is just my type. Still spying? Well, what? No, 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 no. Of course not. I'm, I'm, I'm just investigating. Mm, this exchange seems awfully familiar to me. <laughs> oh, I'm in love with myself. 
Oh! <laughs> one more, one more. Come on, come on. I am officially <laughs> in love with myself. Oh my word. Oh my word. I, I'm a beautiful person.